explode, we know that this declaration may be a mission impossible. Because by your fellow Majibe is not just learning from himself, he is learning from his boss, the chief mother servant of corruption, Mr. Abufado, and his deputy, the chief liar, Baulaya. a total disaster mm -hmm. to the corridors of this country. Take the manifesto, go into it, and tell me a single solution they have professed. Rather, the problems they have bestowed on us, that is what Alaji Baumia has gotten the F entry mm -hmm. to mount the podium and pretend as if his solutions are going to solve the problems he has bestowed on us. E. Levy, you Alaji Baumia, the only advice you have given to Akufado since you became his vice president is to tax, tax, tax. They brought an e levy tax unnecessary. The whole world, the only country that still charges within tax is Ghana, under the auspices of a large Baumia. The, the whole world, the only country that taxes Bola tax, sanitation tax, is Ghana, under the auspices of Baumia. Betting that youth have been engaging in small, 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 small. And I'm not saying betting is a good thing. But if the youth of this country have jobs, they will not bet. They bet because they don't have jobs. Now you bow. So are you saying those who, do, who, who bet are people who don't have jobs? Maybe, because I don't people who have jobs and still bet. That means that the jobs they are doing are pack up jobs. Their salary is not enough for them. And I already told you that there are people who go to work, but even if they didn't go to work, it would have been better because their salary is not sufficient. Mm. People engage in these bettings because they need extra source of finances. You bow me. You pretended as if you were a Muslim and you are a Malam and you do har you give haram to Betan. Yet when they cook the pig soup, you now mm -hmm. beg them to give you some of the soup to drink. If you don't want Betan, cancel it. If you are allergic to pig meat, you don't buy pig, you don't drink pig soup. Now you have told the youth of this country that you can bet. When you win the bet, I beg you, give me ten percent to also chop. Is that not a hypocrite? Is that not a liar? Is that not a wicked man? So Clearly, they are bereft of ideas. Look, at every opportunity given to President Mahama, he professes solutions to the problems of this country. President Mahama sat down 
and thought that everybody in this country have been working within eight years. Mm -hmm. And if you want to test the eight, eight hours, eight hours. Pardon, and if you want to test that this country is running at a one-way shift, in the morning, look at the direction of traffic. In the evening, look at the direction of traffic. What it tells you and I is that in the morning, everybody goes towards one direction because we are all going to work within eight hours. In the evening after 4 p.m., if you are going back to Medina, you will see the traffic going back. The same people who came to work are the same people going back. So that one-way economy cannot compete with other countries that are running a three-shift system. So President Mama says, look, I would meet industry mm -hmm. and we we'll discuss with them how we can also do a three-shift system. Then he made the TUC. And TUC says that one of the reasons why we cannot run a three-shift system or some of the reasons why we can't run a three-shift system is because our taxes are high. Mm -hmm. It's because electricity tariffs are high. Mm -hmm. And some of us even fear to work in the night. These days, mobile money vendors close. As so security as, concerns are there. So absolutely. Cost of production you. is also absolutely. there. Absolutely. So President Mama says, if you promise me that your jobs will run three shifts and recruit three more people at specific jobs in your company, I will then meet you halfway. So the monies I would have used to employ more than 1,600 presidential staffers and be paying them at the presidency, that will boost the amount that is taken to Office of Government Machinery to about 2 billion. I'll reduce it and start and take only 400 million to the Office of Government Machinery. The remaining change, I'll use part of it to give you subsidized taxes. I'll use part of it to give you time of use meters to reduce your electricity tariffs. And I'll use part of it to recruit security people to guard your companies in the night so that you can work at a trade shift system. So the TUC is it's fantastic. What you, President Mama, is telling us is that one job will now recruit three people and run a trade shift. So in the morning, you have people going. Mm -hmm. When they close and they are coming home, another group will be going for the second shift. When they close and they are coming home, the third group will be going for the third shift. And then we'll be able to run at the full 24-hour system in this country. Mm -hmm. How difficult is this to understand? Isn't, isn't, Yet, isn't this that now over-reliant and over-ambitious on the Office of Government Machinery Allocation. Because remember, that's the same funds that we are also talking about mm -hmm. to fund the level 100 free uh, tertiary uh, mm -hmm. education mm -hmm. and all of that. Are you not relying too much no. on that allocation? No, no, no. We are not going to use only the Office of Government Machinery. I have stated that government will continuously have revenue. Mm -hmm. And government has revenue from cocoa exportation. Ghana is a next, net exporter of crude. We continue having revenue from our oil corridors. Every year, we get $4 billion from oil corridors. Mm -hmm. The amount of oil we bring into this country is about $3.3 .3 billion. Annually, we get a windfall. In the petroleum sector, when we talk of a windfall, that's profit. Mm -hmm. We get profit of about $1.1 billion. That money is reserved that any president can use to pay for anything in this country. Yet this particular government usually chooses to use that to spend recklessly. You use it to drive long convoys and use it to have a land cruiser carrying the chair of the president so that when he comes into the studio, they will put the chair here for him to sit on. Mm -hmm. President Mama says when I come to GH1, I won't sit on a chair. The fuel that will be used to fuel the land cruiser that will be carrying the chair here anytime I'm coming here would rather be used to pay for the taxes of companies to recruit Ghanaians.